What's up with the sun? The sun's magnetic energy is blasting a lot of solar flares into space right now. But look what else is up there. Is that some kind of spaceship? I thought it was an unmanned solar probe until I used the thermal imager and saw this. <gasps> you mean there's somebody in that tin can? Affirmative. And the unidentified vessel is about to be sucked into the sun's magnetic pole. Then what? Instant vaporization. Then we'd better get up there and help them fast. Who's up for a rescue mission to the sun? Bunny, <laughs> help! Bunny, <Money>, help! <laughs> okay, Bunny. Activating heat shields. Whoa, that sun is bright. Solar visors. There it is. Wow, looks like a junk pile. <laughs> Droids in space! <laughs> 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 If you're through making friends, we have T-minus six minutes to rescue that ship. You still want to rescue that slobbering space bird thingy? We have to. You handle the claw, I'll handle Starbird One. has caused a full system malfunction. And now we're being pulled into the sun! Two minutes and 21 seconds until vaporization. What are we gonna do now? Let's signal our friend for help. Help! 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 <laughs> Icky, look! The scary Monster, it's so tiny. <laughs> Are they laughing at us? It would appear to be so. Please help. Help! We need your help! <laughs> I think she's saying help. But maybe they're not monsters. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? He looked big and blue and kind of friendly. And no help at all. 60 seconds to vaporization. Absorb the heat from those solar flares. And those crystals are still... 
restoring the energy. I've never seen tech like that before. Chip systems back online. Thank goodness. Um, hello? Are you A-OK? -okay? Tip top shape. Feeling like a million? Uh, yeah, we're all good here. Thanks for the tow. Piece of cake. I'm Monty from Proxima B in Alpha Centauri system. We thought you were a monster at first. There was something really scary on your video feed. Oh. Oh, that's icky, not scary. All chirp, no chomp. Huh? <laughs> you want to see where we live? Do zip zongs have porco? Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're from another galaxy? Oh, that's so dreamy. <laughs> Thanks so much for saving us. It looked like you needed rescuing, but looks can be deceiving. Your ship's actually pretty cool. Sort of. Your ship is chilly, too. Not too shabby. Nothing to sneeze at. Nice to meet you, too. Hopefully we'll see you around someday. Oh, you can count on this. Bye for this time. Bye. Saturn ahead. Well, I'm flattered you came all this way just to hang out with me. Don't flatter yourself. I came all this way to beat you. I detect a mega solar flare. We better descend quickly before. Oh, guys, please try and steady Starbird, or I'm gonna lose my lunch. I'm trying. Can you get me some more power to the thrusters? Negative. The solar flare drained our power. I've got emergency power for air, lights, and short-distance comms. That's it, I'm afraid. Oh. Looks like your world has been turned upside down, Rocket Club. <laughs> it's not a joke! Genie has severe motion sickness. Good thing the most brilliant mind in the universe has enough backup power to do this! Ooh, that's better. How did you do that? It wasn't me, it was Calvin. Calvin actually helped us? Didn't think I'd let you use a tummy ache as an excuse to get out of our game, did you? Just save your breath for the arena, Calvin. You're gonna need it. Speaking of the arena, we just drifted past it, and we're headed into deep space. We need to get back on course, but how? Well, we'll just have to sit tight and hope somebody spots us and helps. <sighs> oh, Tack, can you turn up the heat? Not without the risk of running out of backup power. <sighs> I wish I'd packed more blankets. <sighs> yeah. Hey, we can print some blankets. We brought Ravi's 3D printer with us. Luckily, it has its own battery power. Right. Yes! Great idea, Genie! Oh, new blankets hot off the press. I wonder how Calvin's doing over there. 
But, Master, if we turn on the heat, we could run out of power. Well, if we don't have enough power for heat, then we don't have enough power for you! <laughs> no wonder you always lose if that's how you treat your team. They're not teammates. They're just droids. I take exception to that. A teammate would have to be as smart as me, which is impossible since I am the smartest in the universe. <laughs> Come it out! <laughs> Seems like Calvin could really use a blanket too. Yeah, but even if we wanted to, how could we get him one? There has to be a way. Guys, I've got an idea. It's working! Hey, Calvin! Wakey, wakey! Special delivery! <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? what? For me? Uh-oh. It snagged on something. Then I'm going out to unsnag it. That is a bad idea. The solar winds are picking up. There's no telling what you might run into out there. Good thing I've got these new super fast boots. A mega solar wind gust is coming. If Genie is out there when it hits, she'll be blown into outer space. Genie, did you hear that? Genie. Didn't think I'd let you use being frozen as an excuse to get out of our game now, did ya? <gasps> Look! Guys, the blanket is acting like a solar sail! Woohoo! Right! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> amazing! Woohoo! <clears throat> you do realize that the solar wind can only carry us away from the sun and into deeper space? Oh, right. Hey, maybe we can steer towards Pluto. We can stop at the Cosmic Cafe and get some of Monty's power crystals to reboot Starbird One. Unfortunately, without thrusters, we can't steer. And our current course has us missing Pluto and drifting out of the solar system. Genie, we need to find some thrust power to steer us to Pluto. <laughs> well, you could... I got nothing. I've got a plan. But we're gonna have to work together. As a team? I... Uh, I've never had a real teammate before. It's simple. Just do what someone else says for a change. Here, put this on and give me one of yours. With Callie's directions, we can use these super-powered boots to steer the ships to Pluto. Yes! Genie, total genius. We're going out there? Huh, you're not growing feathers now, are you? <laughs> Last one out to run, Meg! <laughs> gotcha! Keep your extreme power boot on low until we get the signal from Cal. Do ya? Now you should be ship shape 
and ready to vroom! Thanks, Monty. Thanks. Oh, yeah, sure, thanks. So what brought you all the way out here anyway? Well, I was gonna show them who's the best in the universe at Gravity Ball, but it will have to wait. Yes, you'll have to wait to get your butt burned by my rocket boots another time. At least they agree on something. <laughs> <laughs>